Today we are reviewing Luxalon 4G Soft. Mmm, right there. I have never used a Luxalon string before, ever, never tried one. So this will be a really cool, like unbiased review. There's so many pro players playing on a, on a tour that use Luxalon string. It's been around for a while. So really exciting for me to, to kind of get into this line and um, see what the hype is. It's kind of cool that they're still based in Belgium. You think of Belgium, you think of chocolate and you think of beer and you think of, you know, uh, fries, um, steak, do you think of steak? Definitely think of waffles and beer. Just a quick little history of, of Luxlon. They started making strings in 1950, or actually they started making sewing threads in 1959. 91, they came out with Big Banger. We've all probably heard that before. 91, guys. Now, the craziest thing I saw, they came out with Alu Power in 1994. Think of how long ago that was. I mean, they have been doing this stuff for a long time. 94, that's like, in 2013, they came out with 4G. Now, not necessarily 4G soft, um, but just the regular 4G. I'm just looking at the packaging here, um, man, it, it is beautiful. It's, it's glitter gold. I mean, it's just shining. It's brilliant. Um, just metallic gold. You feel like you're really, feel, uh, you know, holding a top shelf product here. The big thing they say, maximum tension maintenance. So that right there is, is some foreshadowing. You know, what is this string all about? And then from here, the string, it looks kind of like, uh, like a, almost like a yellowish from the window. Um, but you'll see that's a little bit different in real life when, you, when we get in here. Let's talk about the specs here. Um, the interesting thing is that looks like this is only offered in 16 gauge from what I can see. Taking the string out of the packaging, it is slick. It has a, it has a glossy kind of a, like a coated feel in your fingers. There's no texture whatsoever. Actually, when you start to look at this thing, it's actually more of like a orange color. Um, and I really like that. As putting this in the Yonex AI-98 Ivanovich, it's a 310 gram racket. As you start stringing it up, it's this string is so slick and smooth that it slips out of your fingers as you're stringing it in, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, that's kind of a good thing. It's always nice when a string feels good, when you're weaving it through, when you're stringing it up, it just kind of gets you excited. It does seem to be prone to kinking. So if you're stringing this up, do not yank it through and be rough with it. Be very gentle with it like you're holding a newborn baby. Headed out for the first hitting session, it must have been, it was 90 something degrees and it was just heavy, heavy humidity and heat that day. And I'm thinking, man, it's just gonna be so thick. Balls are gonna be like stopping dead in the air. I'm warming up, just hitting short court and I'm noticing I'm barely hitting this slice backhand at all, but this thing has power. The ball is, is popping off the bed like effortlessly. Just wow, effortless power right there. I'm going, okay, okay, this is gonna be interesting. This string has some weight to it because when I put this in, I'm like, what happened to the racket? This thing feels like an RF-97 up in here. I'm wondering if, you know, if my racket head speed's gonna be a little sluggish because this thing weighs a little bit more. Um, that will also give a little more stability though. How does this string feel? It's a clean, clean feel. It's not grabby, it's not bitey, like, like, like a tour bite or something. It has a firm, solid feel. Um, it is not pillowy soft or anything like that, but it has a very kind of smooth feel to, to the action on it. There is some feedback there. It's not like, uh, you know, a tour bite soft like we just did where it just sinks, sinks into the bed and you can just feel that. Um, this has a more response, like a quicker attack, quicker response on it. You could almost say that it was a buttery feeling, not, not pillowy or anything like that, but just a smooth kind of buttery impact feel. This string has effortless power, it really does. It's, it's kind of punchy for a, for a soft poly. On contact, it has a nice thwop to it. You get a nice, solid, kind of flat contact. With, with power, you're gonna get a little extra pop on that serve. That's what, why a high-powered string is good on the serves when it's a stationary, the ball's not moving. 
you just get that extra pop when you hit it right in the sweet spot in the serve that you will definitely see, and your opponent will definitely feel on the other side of the net. The string has a ton of control. It is not trampoline-y or, or slingshotty or anything like that. But this string is predictable and stable um, when you talk about control. But come from what I'm used to with the Tour Bite Soft. Um, Tour Bite Soft, you have to add in so much extra margin because I mean, you can just, <laughs> that string can slingshot to the other court, honestly, if you're not careful. Um, but this string, I, I didn't feel any issues with that. It was pretty accurate given the comfort and the, the kind of um, softness that you get from it. Comfort, the, all the comfort lies in the sweet spot of this string. You have to hit it right in the center. Um, and you, there's, there's plenty of comfort there. Plenty of comfort, especially with the tension that I strung it at, 43 pounds, having a flexi racket, definitely help with having that comfort because it just, the, the racket flexes as the string flexes, as, as the ball hits, everything's kind of working together to reduce the impact shock into your body. What kind of issues would I have in this with the string? Uh, man, I thought it was overpowered on short balls when you had to flick them over. I think I was hitting them too, too flat. I was slow, my racket hit speed down. The, the power and the tension was a little bit low on this. I think maybe at string it up a few pounds higher next time, I think you're gonna be able to play with this string for a long, long time. It's just gonna be super consistent, clean, and that's what Luxalon does. I wish they had a 17 or 18. I would love to try a 17 or 18 on the string, but I can understand maybe you're just kind of losing some of the playability and the, uh, the durability that, that you get with the 16 here. And maybe I think they wanna keep it like that. You know? The durability and playability is one of the best I've tried, honestly. And this, we keep in mind, this is a soft string we're talking about. You're making a sacrifice for, um, for some of these things, you know? So I think Luxon has been able to find that balance of soft and tension maintenance playability, durability, all in the same string. I'm thinking this string is gonna be prime as a cross in a gut hybrid setup because it's so smooth, so slick, it's not gonna saw through. So that will be an interesting one. I'm definitely gonna try something like that. But yeah, anybody who's stuck with me to the very end, this is your lucky day. We're doing our first, first giveaway. Um, the winner of this giveaway is gonna get a code and they're gonna be able to go on our website and pick out your favorite shirt, whatever you want, and it's gonna be shipped to your door and one of these special edition tubes. Um, you just gotta make sure you're just subscribed here. Drop a comment in the section below. Let me know what you thought of 4G Soft or the video. Uh, you gotta follow us on Instagram and tag us up, tag this video up or tag us up in one of your stories. Um, I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> and then in the next string review, we will announce the winner and I will get in touch with you. Wow, I was so happy. This was such a fun review to do and I cannot wait to do the next one. So drop a comment below if you ever, if you're a Luxalon kind of guy or kind of girl and um, what you thought of 4G Soft. Thank you for watching guys. Have a great day. <laughs>